Welcome everybody. It's Tuesday after the long weekend and uh, my name's Adam. I'm from PSP Esquimalt. Just remember uh, that this workout is to be done. We're not there for your safety so please do it at, under your own discretion. Um, remember have fun or be safe, have fun and let us know where you're uh, viewing from. Uh, we want to know just our own curiosity and play your own music because I won't be playing any music today and then one more thing is to make sure that you do read that little disclaimer if you have any injuries or anything that happens and make sure you fill out your CF-98 if you are military um, but that being said that's it for that little intro stuff we got a fun one today we are gonna do uh, some kettlebell swings to start with little EMOM there, get our heart rate up, get that posterior chain, getting that power going. And we're going to be doing some supersets today. So the next uh, part two is going to be 20 seconds on, 20 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. And we're going to go back to back with our two different moves. So 20, 20, and then rest, move on to our next superset. So our first one is going to be squats into jump squats. And then we have push-ups into dips. And then we have split squats into single leg deadlifts with our left leg forward. And then we have split squats into deadlifts with our right leg forward. Then we have bent over rows. And then back widows, which are a new one that I've learned. Um, it's a good one to do with body weight. So you're going to be on the ground and you're going to try and push your back off the floor just using your elbows. Uh, modifications for that are elevating yourself so you can do it against the wall or lean against the wall or against the back of your sofa something like that um, and then our last one is a core with a hollow hold and dead bugs so I know I threw a lot of moves at you right there and a lot of names um, but when we get into part two I'll demo quickly all of the moves or at least some of the ones that are maybe new to some of us most of us know our squats and jump squats, but you'll watch me and follow along. Uh, so for now, we'll just get into our warm-up. And the equipment that you're going to need for our main workout for part one is only one kettlebell or something similar to a kettlebell that you can do swings. Or if you don't want to do swings, you can just do an explosive deadlift or regular deadlifts. Um, all right, so let's just start nice and easy jogging on our mat in place starting off normal just regular jogging want to warm up the bottom of our feet and those Achilles first before we get crazy and let's start bringing the knees a little bit higher perfect and we'll turn that into butt kicks really kick your bum Drive those heels. Oh, my legs are sore today. Perfect. Let's do a couple stepping forward lunges. Let's just do three per leg. Perfect. And a little bit of fast feet, straighten your leg in front, heel down, sweep down towards your toes. Just go at your own pace, a couple on each side. Warming up those hamstrings a little bit. Perfect. Let's do a little bit of hip opener. So we're going to drive our knee up and out to the side, a few quick feet. Opposite leg. And opposite direction. So from out to in, driving out and close. Perfect. Let's do five body weight squats. Really, really slow, trying to keep your chest up nice and proud through that whole range of motion. 
Arms can count out for counterbalance. Weight even over those feet. Toes stay on the ground for five reps. Perfect, once we finish our five reps, let's get onto our backs. We're gonna drive our heels into the floor. A couple of glute bridges. Drive those heels, squeeze those glutes, push those hips high. Back down for five reps of these as well. And last one, five, perfect. Onto our knees, elbows to our knees, our toes are untucked. We're sitting back on our heels, placing our elbows to the ground. We're going to take our right hand, put our knuckles on our lower back. And we're going to exhale as we rotate away from the floor. Trying to keep your hips nice and stable all the way through this rotation. Perfect. Three on the one side, switching hands. Left side, so knuckles on your lower back. Exhale as you rotate that shoulder away and back down. Three again on this side. Perfect. We're gonna get into our high lunge, runner's lunge position. So back leg as long and straight as you can make it. Really focus on trying to drive your hips down and forward. We're gonna place both hands to the ground. We're going to be on the inside of your foot. We're going to take the hand that's closest to your front foot. So if your right foot's forward, it's going to be your right hand. And you're going to reach up high to the sky. Again, eyes follow the hand up. Back down. One more time. Same arm, same side. And back down. Switching sides. So left leg forward or whatever leg is the opposite for you. Again, inside hand reaching up. Back down, and one more big open rotation, and back down. Perfect. Do whatever else you need to do quickly for your warm-up. Grab yourself your kettlebell. We're going to do a couple warm-up deadlifts with this, a couple warm-up swings, and then we're going to get right into our eight-minute EMOM of ten swings every minute on the minute. So I'm just going to quickly get the timer ready for us. All right, so first of all, what we're going to do is just warm up with a couple deadlifts. Reminders here, so if we are going to be doing deadlifts, we want that kettlebell between our ankles. Nice flat back, break the handle, turn the lats on, standing tall. Let's just do five nice slow deadlifts, warming up that posterior chain, getting our backs warm. And once you've done your five, rest, shake that out. We'll do one more set of five. All right, when you're ready, one more set of five. Perfect, once you've done your five, you can put that bell down again, we're resting. Now we're gonna get into a couple swings. We're gonna do again, two sets of five, just to warm up that posterior chain a little bit more before we get right into our imam, and then we are ready to start. Okay, so remember, with our swings, our setup, we're a little bit away from the bell this time. So we're a foot away-ish. Same position that we started with our deadlift, so reaching forward, tip that handle in. Again, break that handle, turn those lats on, nice flat back, hike the bell in, and standing tall. Sa, sa, sa. 
and safely place the bell back where you picked it up from. Really big one in this is getting that breath involved. So ex exhaling your breath as you're pushing that bell forward, inhaling on your way down, controlling that core, keeping everything strong and tension on the whole time. All right, our last set of five. Tip that bell in towards you. Same setup and finish every time. Awesome. Catch your breath, grab a little bit of water, do whatever else you need to do, and we will get this going. Alright, about 20 seconds we'll start our first round of our Imam. So we got 10 seconds and we'll start our first set of 10 swings. Two, one, go! And resting when you are finished the, that first set of 10. My hair is going to be all wild from this one. We have 20 seconds till we start our next round. Really try and focus on recovery between rounds. We want to try and put that same performance each cycle. All right, three, two, one, go, next round. Perfect. It's hard for me to coach and talk when I'm at the same time with these swings, but I'm sure you guys are doing awesome. We have 30 seconds of rest still for recovery. This part is good for our cardio. My heart rate's up. Part two will be a test of our muscular endurance. But it'll be fun. We got five seconds, find your bell again. One, go. Good work. 35 seconds recovering. We have a few new people joining. That's great. Keep up the good work. 25 seconds of recovery still. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Coming up to 10 seconds. Gonna be starting our fourth round already, halfway. Three, two, one, go. Good work. You're in control of that bell. Don't let it pull you around. You're, you're the one in control. 30 seconds. Uh, 
I'm starting to feel it in my grip. Ten seconds. Thinking about your setup. And go. Oh yeah, heart rate is up there. Bring that heart rate down, slow it, keep walking around, recover. 20 seconds, we're going to be starting our sixth round. Ten seconds. Thinking about our setup again. In that position, nice flat back, and go. Nice, recovering now. 35 seconds of rest, only two more rounds, really try and focus on each rep as we start to get tired and fatigue happens, we start to break down, but we can do it. We have 10 seconds of finding that bell again. In three, two, one, go. Starting round seven, almost there. One more round and we're done. On to part two. 25 seconds. Ten seconds. Last set of swings. Three, two, one, go. Last round. Right on. Swings are done. Catch your breath. You can put the heavy belt away and grab yourself your lighter belt. So, we'll be starting part two in about a minute or so. So, for part two, you're going to need one lighter kettlebell for our bent over rows. Similar like we did, I think, maybe a week or two weeks ago. In that bent over row position, we're going to do two rows on one side, two on the other, continuously for 20 seconds. So, something that you can do back and forth with that. And then I would ideally like us to use a uh, the kettlebell for our single leg deadlifts as well. 
Uh, so just challenging that movement a little bit more today. If not, totally cool if you still are at the uh, body weight stage for that one. Um, but if you are going to be using a kettlebell with me today, I'm going to use one. The kettlebell should be in the opposite hand of the foot that is planted on the ground. So if your right leg is the one that's grounded, your left leg will be back. And the kettlebell will be in your left hand, okay? Thinking about keeping shoulders square, so not letting the bell pull you down. Nice and even, hips are square, shoulders are square. All right, so for our first superset, it is gonna be 20-20 of squats and jump squats. Okay, so 20 seconds of squats and 20 seconds of jump squats. We have 12 exercises to do. I'll be calling them out as we go, so just follow along and work hard. We're going to start in 10 seconds. Our first one is just regular body weight squats. Starting in 5, 3, 2, 1, go. Regular squats, 20 seconds. And turning to jump squats. 20 seconds of jumps. Try and land soft. 10 more seconds. And rest. 20 seconds to recover, not much time, but then we get into our push-ups. 20 seconds of push-ups. And then straight into 20 seconds of dips. This one's going to be tough. Three, two, one, go. Keep that core engaged. Quickly, finding your chair, straight into your dips. Our arms are going to feel it. It's going to be good. Ten more seconds, keep pushing. And rest. Nice work. Now we're going to be into our split squats. Our left leg is going to be forward first. Left leg up, starting in five. Nice and proud with our chest, straight up, straight down. If you're having trouble with balance, just widen your stance a little bit. Get ready to grab your kettlebell. And now, so left leg planted, right arm forward, right arm holding the bell, control, stand tall. And resting. 20 seconds of rest. Same thing, but on the right side. So right leg forward, and then right foot planted. Five seconds. And go, split squats, 90-90 with your legs. Nice and proud with the chest. Balance. Grabbing that kettlebell, single leg deadlift. And resting. Kettlebell to the side. Actually, just kidding, you need it again. 
for our bent over rows. Five seconds, bent over rows, two rows, switching sides. And go. Perfect, onto your backs for the back widows. Elbows on the floor, or squeeze those shoulder blades together, push yourself up. And resting. Good work. Next one's going to be hollow holds and dead bugs. Starting in five seconds. All the hold. Drive that low back hard into the ground. Breathing. And into dead bugs. Keep that low back firm into the ground. Extending legs. Good work. First round done. Two more left. How's everybody doing? Hopefully well. It's a sweaty one today. I like it. All right, another 30-ish, 45 seconds, and then we'll start round two. Right back to our squats and then jump squats. All right, here we go. 10 seconds. Back to our bodyweight squats, into jump squats. Three, two, one, go. Proud chest. Perfect, jump squats. Ten seconds, stay strong. And rest, good stuff. Next is going to be our push ups and then dips. Ten seconds. And go, push-ups. Straight into our dips, let's go. And resting, good work. Grabbing your kettlebell again, or have it quite quick for handy access. We're gonna be into our split squats and single leg deadlifts. Our left leg is forward. 
Here we go, the squats. Grabbing your kettlebell, left leg planted, shoulders square. Good work, resting. Gonna be right foot forward, left foot back. And go, split squats, right foot forward. Grabbing your kettlebell, left foot down, or right foot down, sorry, hinge, Ten seconds. resting, 20 seconds, we start our bent over rows. Hopefully everybody can still see me. Mine says, sorry, we're having trouble playing the video. Three, two, one. Bend over rows, two reps, switch sides. Perfect, straight into our back widows. Ten seconds. Try and squeeze those shoulder blades together. And resting. Next move is gonna be our hollow hold, so you may as well stay on the ground. Twenty second hold. Three, two, one, go. Try to keep your shoulder blades off the floor. Low back driving hard into the ground. Breathe. Straight into your dead bugs. Ten more seconds. Well Resting. Good work. Round two complete. Well, it's frustrating that I can't see on my end. Hopefully, it's going. Comments don't really seem to be working. Oh no, they're working. Perfect. Awesome. Gotta love technology. Grab yourself some water. We'll get our third and final round underway in about 30, 40 seconds. I don't know about you guys, but I am soaked. Woo! All right, only one more round, eh? One more, we can do it. A little bit of muscular burn for some gains. All right, let's just go 10 seconds. Into our regular old body weight squats. Two, one, go. 
push ourselves here on this last round. Into our jump squats. Landing soft. Resting, 20 seconds into our push-ups and dips. It's going to be good. Try to keep pushing through every, every rep. 20 seconds here, push-ups. Straight into our dips. Quick, quick, quick. Ten seconds. And resting. Twenty seconds. Split squats. And single leg kettlebell deadlift. Left leg forward. And go into our split squats. Into your single leg deadlifts. Drive that back leg long and straight. Ten seconds. And resting. It's going to be left leg or right leg forward this time. Five seconds, getting in position, and go, 90 and 90 with both legs, finding that balance, nice and strong. Grab your kettlebell, single leg deadlifts. Resting. Next one is our bent over rows. Two reps each side, switching back and forth. Three, two, one. Go. Kettlebell to the side, straight to the floor for our back widows. Squeeze those shoulder blades, push through, drive up. And resting. 20 seconds of laziness on the floor. And then we have our final hollow hold. Three. Two, one, go. Last round. Stay strong. 
Low backs, driving hard into the floor. Shoulder blades are up. Into your dead bugs. Keep that low back still engaged into the floor. Extending those arms, extending those legs. You're in control. Good work. We are done. Three rounds. Super fast. All right. Catch your breath. Recover. Grab some water. We'll do a quick cool down and, er, oh, quick stretch. And then get out there and enjoy some sunshine. Oh. All right. Find a seat when you're ready on your mat. And we'll start with one leg in, one leg forward, and try and reach with both hands towards that toe. And just be passive, let your back round fold forward, reach for that toe. Tuck your chin. Awesome, slowly coming up onto that there, we'll switch sides, left leg forward or opposite leg, again reach forward for that toe with both hands, And we'll slowly come up from that there. We'll get into our seated glute stretch. So we're going to cross our left leg, put our ankle on top of our right knee, hands behind your back, thinking about being tall through the back, shoulders away from the ears. And push your chest forwards towards your knees. And switching sides, same thing, shoulders away from your ears, lengthen through the spine, chest towards your knees. Perfect, and releasing from that there. We're gonna lay on one side, grab your ankle and stretch out your quad. Try and think about being nice and straight with your body. And other side. And releasing from that one. All right, that is it from me today. Good work, everybody. Thank you for joining. Uh, our next live session will be with Danielle.
at 11 o'clock on May 21st. So have a good rest of your day. Recover, drink some water. See you next time.